In today's video I'm going to talk about the Guppy Friend laundry bag that is supposed to help reduce the microplastic from your synthetics clothes by up to I think they said 80 or 90 percent which is pretty awesome. The way it works is that <laughs> Well, it is actually a polyamide bag, so using plastic to defeat microplastic seems a little bit stupid to me, but um, they say it works fine. It's also supposed to last for years and years and be recyclable. So, I mean, it, it, it takes out the microplastic, that's the most important thing. Also, this thing itself doesn't shed microplastic due to its uh, construction, and it's said to hold back about 90% of the microplastic uh, that shreds from your clothes. Yeah, actually, your uh, synthetic clothes, they shed a lot of plastic when you wash them, and that's uh, plastic goes into the water and into the fish, and then you fish it back up and eat it, which is a particularly big problem for me since I live here and I do a lot of fishing outside. Um, yeah, it's a pretty cool concept. I think it's German. Uh, I think it said it was uh, made in Berlin. Ich bin eine Berliner. Not as funny as uh, Ich bin ein Hamburger, but uh, I digress. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. It was pretty expensive about $30 and you can see you can fit quite a lot of clothes in here as well The thing I was thinking about this thing is that it seems like something that would be marketed at somebody who likes to make their own reusable toilet paper But after having tried this thing out for a few times I do it has grown on me The thing I like the most about it is that it protects the clothes in the same way that a laundry bag would uh, just that it also absorbs all the microplastics. So it's pretty cool like two-in-one combination thing here Now the one thing I don't really like that much about this bag is that you can only wash it at 40 degrees Celsius or about 103 Fahrenheit, which is not as high as you would wish for but I guess it is plastic also You can dry it obviously you need to take the clothes out if you want to use a dryer also, you can use a drying rack, of course, that's more friendly as well to the environment. I do like it. I will say, though, that it was expensive and um, perhaps a little bit uh, self-defeating in that it is so much plastic. But I figured I could show you how you use it. So you just close it up like this. Let's pop it into the washing machine here, like that. Now, like I said, they recommend that you only fill it uh, two thirds of the way. And what they also suggest is that you can take your regular clothes like this and place it kind of around the bag so that it evens out the weight. Um, to be honest with you, I find that a little bit silly because it kind of defeats the purpose of having a laundry bag in the first place. But since this is aimed to reduce microplastics, I guess it is pretty cool. So this is how they recommend that you do it. I've preloaded some detergent. That is one thing to note as well. Plastic containers for your laundry detergent and fabric softener are still there but at least it's not microplastic that goes directly into the sea i guess i've been experimenting a lot with these sheets lately laundry sheets i can do a video on that in the future and i can also link it down below this video actually now they say max 40 degrees i'm going to pop on the synthetic cycle here and it goes to 40 automatically and it is as simple as pressing start here and i'm going to show you the results afterwards it's pretty cool how much microplastics you can actually find inside a little um, edges along the bag uh, also, I wanted to mention that uh, it does actually come in a quite uh, eco-friendly packaging. <laughs> so I'll, I'm just going to cut over to when the laundry is done. Ooh, okay, I'm back. I uh, just went for a run. Sorry about the sweatiness. Now, let's see about this uh, laundry then. So, here we have the bag all ready to be emptied. So, I wanted to show you here how much microplastic actually collects each time. You need to bring it inside out like this, all along these edges. And here you can see the results. It's quite a lot, uh, if you consider that how small it is. Next thing we need to do here is that we're gonna dry the clothes. Now we can do that either on a clothing line or dryer rack. Also, I'm gonna make a new video now on how to use dryer balls, uh, woolen dryer balls. By the way, this microplast, what you want to do with it is you can put it in a little uh, container and collect it all or you can dispose of it in a plastic waste. Now, obviously, it's better if you dispose it in a waste basket because then it will go to a landfill instead of go to, uh, directly to the sea. But uh, yeah, I, I think you have to judge yourself whether this thing is worth it or not. So let's hang this up here to drip off. It's a very cool contraption for sure, but uh, yeah. Um, I'm going to add a link to it below if I can find it on the internet. I'm also going to link those 
uh, laundry sheets that I recommended. And uh, yep, I'll see you in the next one.